All righty. So uh, I tried a noble effort to try to get my freaking webcam to, to show while I'm doing this. And apparently there is, I can't get it to work and it's late and I'm just going to drop. So that's what I'm going to do. So obviously yesterday um, was, and by the time you see this, maybe it was a couple days or months ago. I don't know. But um, yesterday was the, was Pokemon Day and they announced Gen 8 of Pokemon. And uh, the starter Pokemon uh, are, are here. So I wanted to draw them. I thought it'd be kind of fun. So uh, we're going to start with the fire um, Pokemon here, the score bunny. It looks pretty cool. Honestly, out of the three, this one might be the one I go with. I don't know. I'll have to kind of see the evolutions, I think. But um, let's, uh, we'll just jump right in and uh, start kind of drawing this here. Um, again, I think it's important as you draw to deal with a lot of, to look at a lot of the geometric shapes and uh, draw that. One second, I'm realizing I don't have my little glove on, which goes a long way so I don't accidentally move the screen but okay so notice his head is kind of egg shaped and I've got it a little bit flat here on the bottom but I kind of come and bring it like that um, he's got some ears here we'll just kind of do it real nice and fast he's got some ears he's got a little body that's actually pretty skinny he's got his hands that come out He's got a big foot that comes up in front. He's got a foot that comes down like so, and a long leg, okay? Now, as I look at it, I wanna make sure that the proportions are similar to the one on the right. I noticed that my head is a little bit big, so let's go ahead and uh, you know, I'm just gonna try this head again, actually. I found it just, it's its really helpful not to think too hard when you do this. You just want to just let it flow because it goes a long ways. You just let it flow. A little bandage on his nose, I think it's helpful there. Do a little neck thing. This foot doesn't, oh, that was a little large. Shrink the size of our eraser here. I think the legs are not quite in the right spot. So his body comes down like so, and like so. Here is his foot. We'll come down like this. I've seen some memes and things. This dude really does look like the tricks bunny. I'm not going to lie. That is spot on. All right. So I'll give him his arms back. There we go. That's starting to look more score bunny-ish. I like the, um, the fact that he is really agile, like how he was running up that gear and he seems to be fast and, and all that. And I like the personality that this picture is kind of showcasing here. I think that's, that's pretty fun. But again, I'm, I'm super curious to see kind of what his evolutions will look like because you could go a couple different ways, right? You could make him be like all large and, bulky and, and kind of like a, a really strong looking um, large rabbit or you could have him be kind of more lanky and fast right and I I feel like lanky and fast probably is more interesting than just kind of a, a beefy wear rabbit sort of thing so, but you know, we'll, we'll kind of see I 
I love how already there are so many drawings of these uh, of these Pokemon. I was looking up and kind of doing some research on, on pictures to grab this picture. And uh, there's already just a ton of people that have made their drawings of each of the starter Pokemon. I think it's super cool. Also, I think it's really interesting that everyone seems to love uh, Grunky. And... Uh, I, I would not have expected that. I would have thought a lot of people would have, could have chosen other ones. Now it's fascinating. I'll, I'll draw all three of them eventually. But what I think is fascinating here is each of the starter Pokemon have a very different um, look for their eyes. Uh, I think it's very interesting that they that they chose to do that. The original Pokemon all had a very similar set of eyes. And uh, these not only don't match those original eyes, but they also... Uh, don't even match each other, which is kind of interesting. Now, <clears throat> if you'll notice here on the left, or, or actually let's take a look at, at my drawing here, you'll notice the face looks off, right? If we look, start looking at this, you'll notice that my face is more straight on to the camera versus this face, which is much more to the kind of to the left side of the screen, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase this and try to start again where it's a little bit more clear that I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking away. And you'll notice his normal face is going like this, right? So I'm going to try to do a similar sort of curve here that will guide my eyes right? and, and, and what I draw. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my little bandage here. I'm going to give him my his nose. That's going to follow down. Here I'm going to give him his, his mouth. Okay. And then I've got an eye and an eye. There. And as you can see, it's already starting to be much better. Now, second part. You'll notice, again, he's looking upward, and I am not. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do it one more time. But this time... I'm going to give him an upward look. Probably should have just given myself the these guidelines at the beginning, but I was trying to cut corners. All right, and you'll notice that on this guy, the bandage comes about right um, at that, that intersection. So I'll go ahead and make my bandage. And that's not quite straight. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, there we go, and we'll we'll put in this eye right here, and we'll put in this eye right there. Now, if you'll notice, that looks significantly better because I got the the face uh, more correct. Now, the eyes are still not quite how I like them.
They seem a little much like a little like um, Sid the Sloth. The eyes just seem a little too far apart. There, that, that looks a little bit better here. All right. We're going to go with that. We're going to say that's that's workable. Now, notice in his eyes, we've got a circle on top. Circle on top. And we've got kind of a half circle on bottom. That's all the eye is. And then everything else is black. All right. Very interesting eye structure here. So now I'm going to come in here, zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and just delete some of these lines that now don't need to be there. Sometimes I like to keep some of the lines because it helps kind of make my characters look a little bit more uh, 3D. In this case, I'll go ahead and, and erase this because I think it will help clean up what I'm what we're looking at here. As you can see, he's already looking a lot better than he was before. That's for sure. There we go. Okay. Notice that his arms are skinny and then the hand gets a little bit wider. We'll give him his little fingers. Okay, same thing over here. He starts out with a skinny arm and it comes out a little wider. We'll go ahead and emphasize that even a little bit more than it's it is in the picture itself. He's got this interesting like collar thing going on. Not sure exactly what, what that is. It's a man scarf. Maybe that's what it is. He just wants a nice man scarf. Okay, and I need to get rid of this guy. Okay. Do some clean up here. You know, again, this is one of those nice parts about drawing digitally. You don't have to worry about erasing cleanly. It just erases cleanly for you. Nice and clean. Okay, cool. Now, let's also clean up this little area right there. Okay, so we're seeing it come together. Notice he's got a little bit, a little tail hiding back here. So we'll go ahead and give him that little tail. Not quite that same angle that I did it. Here we go, it's more like that. His feet come in a little bit. And he's got a little bit of a he's got a bandage there too. may not look exactly like the same character, but they definitely look related. 
They look like they could be brothers or cousins or something. Go ahead and just steal some of their steal some of the colors here. I forgot to give him teeth. What am I thinking? There we go. Come in here and Steal this color, this pink color. Go ahead and steal this color here. Okay. It also appears to come around like this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and steal that color. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab our black here.
Okay. This is looking better. Go ahead and grab this color. Actually, I'm going to go one step at a time and grab this color first. Now, go ahead and grab this color. Notice there's a little half circle that's showing up there. So I'll go ahead and color it with a half circle. I'm liking this little guy. He's turned out really cool. Okay, and now uh, I'll do this. His head is kind of like a, or his ears are kind of like candy corn. He is ready for Halloween. Maybe this game will come out around Halloween. Maybe that's why they gave him that color scheme. Love it. Boom. Oh. What am I doing? Still have a I haven't colored this in at all. Because, of course, they always say their name. So, there we go. Score Bunny in the flesh. He seems like he's going to be pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> I like how he turned out. Obviously, not nearly as clean as the original drawing. And that, I think, is fine, right? Because this is all done digitally. And, and based on the sketch, you could then transform this into a digital version and, and that would be fine the one thing that i'm noticing though in in mine so first of all the um kind of this chin shape is a little bit different okay. mine's a little bit more football shaped whereas the uh, actual pokemon is a little bit more spherical um not gonna lie i kind of like the more football shaped uh, look so I'm not even going to change that. Um, but what I am noticing is here you'll notice um, the legs look a little bit more natural. Here it almost, the, the legs look weird. It's almost like he's like kicking up his leg in front of the other. That it, this, is, this is the right foot instead of the left foot. But anyways, I, uh, I think it's because I made this leg too long or too wide perhaps and I would just have to shift it over and make it seem a little bit more, um, to make it a little bit more clear. But anyways, there's my score bunny. I think you turned out pretty well. Let me know in the comments your thoughts, and hopefully, or, or if you wanted to, you had a chance to draw along with me and, uh, 
and curious to see in the comments below if you thought your drawing turned out well too. Anyways, have an awesome day. See you on the next one.